Miami is all about movement. Breaking ground to keep up with ballooning demand for a piece of paradise. But the very structures built to house and even entertain people are facing a new level of scrutiny. In wake of this 40 year old residential building crumbling to ruins less than 24 hours after a city mandated building inspection. I am directing that our Department of Regulatory and, Res and Economic Resources will immediately commence an audit of all of the buildings at the 40 year point and beyond. Miami-Dade County's mayor quickly demanding accountability. Do you think a step like that is going to be helpful? Yeah, it's a, it's a good first step. Dr. Atoro Azizi Namini has developed technologies to keep buildings and bridges in earthquake zones from collapsing. You got to couple that by the, what else can I do uh, so that I address the problem systematically. Current regulation requires buildings to undergo inspection for recertification at 40 years and then every 10 years after that. Azizi Namini believes certain high-rise buildings exposed to climate risks and natural events like South Florida's wet storms and salty air should be inspected more frequently. Like a doctor's visit, where a doctor conducts a physical exam and if it raises concern, specific testing begins. We may do an MRI, take an x-ray and things like that. And the same thing with respect to the building too. The technology to do this already exists. You have a non-destructive testing. Structural engineers can identify section losses and signs of corrosion without disrupting the building. And Scientists the like Dr. Shimon Virovinsky track small movements of land and buildings using satellites. Between 1993 and 1999, we can say that during that period, the building moved. His studies have found that the now collapsed Surfside building sunk half an inch over a six year period in the 90s. The, the police was here. They want to get a uh, first uh, and a report on my study. Authorities are now closely looking at that information. The state of Florida has also been funding Verovinsky's latest subsidence study in the Miami area, this time also using GPS trackers. Do you think that change will come after this? I think so. I think so. I hope it does. Reporting from Surfside, Florida, I'm Lauren Magarino.